These earbuds are becoming my fidget toy. Anyway, this video is about how to pair this Soundpiece Air 4 Pro to our computer devices. So I'll show you how easy it is for the initial pairing and then two methods to connect the second device. Yes, this Air 4 Pro can connect to two devices at the same time and then automatically switch between them depending on where you are playing your audio. This is my Samsung Galaxy A7 tablet and my Galaxy S23 Ultra phone. Let's do the initial pairing against my phone. It's pretty straightforward. Open the Air 4 Pro case and the earbuds will be in pairing mode. Now go to the Bluetooth settings on your phone and scan for the earbuds. There it is, look for Soundpeats Air 4 Pro and then proceed to pair the earbuds. It should be connected now. And there we go, that's connected already. After that, Whenever we open or close the case with the earbuds in the case, it will automatically connect and disconnect respectively. Now, how do we pair the second device? There are two methods. Let me show you the method that doesn't work first. If we have the earbuds connected to the first device and we scan for the second device to try to connect to the earbud, it may detect the earbuds, but when we attempt to pair it, it may say pairing not accepted. This is because the earbuds are not in pairing mode. So this first method that works most of the time is to turn off the Bluetooth on the first already paired device. This stops the earbuds from connecting to the first device and the buds will automatically go into pairing mode because there is no devices connected to the earbuds. Now if we scan for it on the second device, which is my tablet in my case, it should be able to pair successfully. There we go, it's now paired to my second device, which is my tablet. My Samsung tablet is a bit slow because it's a Galaxy A series tablet, which has a slower processor. Anyway, it's now working and will automatically connect whenever I open the earbud case to wear my earbuds. And now, look at what happened when I switch back on the Bluetooth of the first device. Let me stop that because we don't need it to be scanning because it's already paired to the earbuds. Look at that, the Air 4 Pro connects to both devices at the same time. And when I close it, it disconnects from both at the same time. And let's try that again. It connects to both at the same time. And when I close the casing, it disconnects from both at the same time. Now, let me show you the second way of pairing the second device without the need to turn off Bluetooth of the first device. Let me unpair the tablet first, so the earbuds are only connected to my phone. Okay, let's make sure it's only connecting to my phone. And test this out. Yes, there we go, it's only connecting to my phone. So for this second method, assuming my phone is in my bag and I'm too lazy to dig it out to turn off the Bluetooth, what we can do is even when the earbuds are connected to the first device, we can press the button at the bottom of the earbud case to make the earbuds go into pairing mode for the tablet, the second device, to detect it. And here it is. 
Notice when I attempt to pair it with the tablet, the earbuds drops the connection to my phone. Now notice that the first device is not connected at the moment. But when I close the case to disconnect, and then open the case again to connect it, it connects back to both devices. And I haven't touched my phone at all, which I'm lazy to take it out from my bag, remember? I'll do a demo on how fast the Soundpiece Air 4 Pro switches between devices. This is my Rode shotgun mic, and hopefully it is sensitive enough to pick up the sound directly from the earbuds. Okay, let's play some audio. Samsung Galaxy Buds become so important to me. 